We are in Tuscany and this weekend we are going to visit the region around Siena. Despite this late spring, we are very unlucky because the weather is very bad and it's going to rain a lot. That's unfortunate, but anyway, we will see. Volterra, one of the most ancient Etruscan settlements named Voltari. The city flourished in the medieval age and this is what we can still see today. We were looking to see the castle of Volterra, one of the most uh, breathtaking castles in Tuscany. Uh, we get there, but unfortunately we discover that it is a state jail. We are in Monteriggioni and we are walking along the Via Franchigena, which was a road connecting the Rome with Canterbury in the medieval age. Actually, I've already seen uh, Monteriggioni despite I've never been here. In fact, there is a video game called Assassin's Creed, which is uh, we, where they reconstructed the entire city in the medieval age and you can go into all the streets and houses with the main character. This was the main residence of the main character, Mr. Ezio Auditore. So it seems like a sort of deja vu coming here now. We are now in San Gimignano and it's heavily raining, so we are waiting to get better. San Gimignano is a small town near Siena. It is known as the Manhattan of the Middle Age for the many towers that characterize its skyline. During the Middle Age, it was a stopping point on the Via Francigena for the pilgrims. The city flourished until 1348, when it was struck by the Black Death. Half of the population died, and the town was submitted to the rule of Florence. There was little development since then. in the heart of Siena, Piazza del Campo, famous because here the Palio takes place twice a year. The place looks like a shell and it's surrounded by beautiful buildings. Siena Cathedral is a great example of Roman Gothic architecture in Italy. It is built of white and black marble, which are the symbolic colors of Siena. Behind me is the headquarter of Ma uh, Banca Monte dei Paschi di Siena, the oldest bank which is still uh, working today. Today is the last day in Tuscany, and guess what? The sun is shining. 
Here we are in uh, Colle Valdelsa, an amazing uh, historical city. And after that we will go in through the Chianti area, uh, passing by beautiful landscape on our way home. Chianti is the typical wine of central Tuscany. The finest Chianti is called Chianti Classico, which is produced in the core of the Chianti hills with a higher percentage of the Sangiovese grapes. It is incredible the concentration of castles, churches and medieval towns that still survive intact in Tuscany. In three days, we only could get a taste of it. 